Welcome back to Primetime News and a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. We begin with the latest from the wage negotiations between trade unions and the government. An agreement has been reached putting an end to the island-wide strike by more than 2,000 National Water Commission workers. Kalisha Williams now reports on the details of that agreement. The parties have agreed that the employees will resume work and normalcy will be restored at NWC facilities island-wide starting with the night shift. Of note also is that the proposal for the compensation restructure for the NWC will be concluded and finalized within three months from May 20, 2022. Implementation will be done three months after. The parties further agreed that a consultant will be hired to conclude a job evaluation using the new public sector job evaluation tool. The consultant conducting the public sector compensation restructuring will make the alignment to the new public sector compensation structure. That exercise will consist of a steering committee involving each of the five unions. The Ministry of Finance and Public Service will provide the final organizational structure of the National Water Commission to the unions by the first meeting of the steering committee scheduled for Friday, May 20. The Ministry will also provide the report of the market survey that was conducted of private sector companies by May 20. And lastly, the parties agreed that there will be no victimization from either side arising from the industrial action. Kalisha Williams, TVG News. Now, before this development, the army was called out to help return water to the pipes of Jamaicans. Prime Minister Andrew Holness addressed the issue at a leadership retreat in Trelawney today. Andrea Chisholm has the details. No water, many problems. Strike action by NWC workers crippled almost every sector. Prime Minister Andrew Hulner says the concerns of workers are valid, but given Jamaica's progress in industrial relations... I was a little bit concerned when an industrial action is taken and there was no notice given so that we could put measures in place to ameliorate the effects of such actions. The Attorney General should therefore state whether the NWC is an essential service and how its workers should be classified. Under the Labor Relations and Disputes Act, industrial action by those in an essential service is unlawful if the dispute was not reported to the Minister or the Industrial Disputes Tribunal. In the interim, the government is being forced to take action of its own. Uh, we have given instructions to the JDF to prepare the Army Corps of Engineers to support the NWC management in returning the supply systems to operations. Uh, and it is not merely a matter of turning on the valves once they have been turned off. Um, they, it is quite a complex operation. And uh, we acknowledge as well that we can't just go and turn on any valve. We don't know which valves control where. And so even though we have mobilized the, the, the engineers, it is with the understanding that this has to be done with the cooperation of the technical persons at the NWC. So now that NWC workers got the attention of government, the Prime Minister had a word of caution. Your particular situation might be different, probably worse than others. But it makes no sense to jeopardize everything else. Jamaica is one boat. And if there is a hole in the boat, we are all at risk of sinking. For now, though, Boat Jamaica is on dry land, waiting for water to continue sailing. Andrea Chisholm, TVJ News.